The Game and Ram here, and welcome back to BMG Drive. And today we are back doing our tow. So today we are back in our tow yard, and we're gonna be getting back, um, in our uh, tow business. So, in the last video, if you guys seen it, we brought these two here in, the the big Coke truck. The big, uh, we got the Suburban that was heavily damaged. Oh, yeah, we have a, a new shed or new coverage now. So that is nice. But, yeah, that Suburban got rear-ended pretty bad. And so we still have possession of those two vehicles over there. And we got, we are currently in the process of doing a lot of construction to our yard. And as you can see, the big warehouse is gone. It's no longer a big warehouse. Um, I'm thinking about either... Uh, we're going to be putting something else there. In the meantime, I'm thinking about... Second thinking about possibly making a fence to go around this place. Um, I think that would be pretty cool. So that is more than likely that's what we're going to do. Because uh, I don't really like to keep parking over here. I got to get this whole land and stuff redid and yeah it's, it's gonna be a while and so this opens up a lot more room so not only do we have more room now in here we actually have a lot more places to park cars so we can actually move that and start parking cars alongside here as soon as i get the fence or whatever place um and then we had brought these two here in we have this you rent van and a Porsche 911. The, um, apparently, the U-Haul driver ran a red light. But I did get in contact um, with both of the owners. Uh, one with the company of U-Rent and the owner of the Porsche. The 911 is going to auction. Um, they're going to sell it pretty much as is to auction so i did get in contact with both of the owners one with the company of you rent and the owner of the porsche um they're both going to auction they're going to pretty much auction them off as is uh so that's what's going to happen to those or these two so but cola wants the truck back to their yard um the suburban it's also going to the crusher um it's they i got orders to send it straight to the crusher don't even go to, it's not even going to the auction um but the owner well good news is i can clear out my 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 yard because we have so much here um also i have some very exciting news oh yeah we got some mark markings down they got some uh i told you we're doing a lot of work to this yard uh it's a lot of starting a lot pretty much we're going to start from scratch and kind of resurface everything which it's going to take some time to do but when it's get done it's, it's going to look good but right right now, right now we have the lines so we this is basically where we're going to park the truck for now so that's pretty cool uh oh yeah um i had someone comment they want to know these two trucks this big white truck that you guys see right here this comes from beam and g drive themselves all right this is their truck this is not a mod all right you guys can drive this truck too with the flatbed but the new update the bed the rollback bed is a lot it's longer so you can hold you can hold a little bit more well just a little bit but yeah that's what that is and over here this comes from groomy customs now hear me out creator of the chevy Silverado truck the like uh the obs that's that's pretty much their that's his mod um so what the only thing that i did different is i just put the i just put the flatbed on the truck and this is a functioning truck you see like the body style and everything it like it fits up so that's basically that's these that's what these two trucks are Gro uh, groomy customs he created the obs chevy and this white truck is from beam and g drive and the big heavy duty rotator tow truck is from physics 
Um, physics. Oh my god. Phys you know what? Check the mud flaps. So, this giant truck is a mod that you guys can pick up yourselves from Fun Physics. And as you can read on this mud flap here, VM Fun Physics. You guys, go and subscribe to him. He, uh, they also have more. Uh, they have a big giant ship. Uh, and they also have something that we're going to be checking out here today that I went and bought. I'm going to show you guys. But they are aiming for a specific number of subscribers. And when they get a specific um, number of subscribers, you guys can get this truck for free. Um, right now, this is a beta. So we beta, beta testing it. And it's a very cool mod, you know, it, it helps out a lot, you know, just to have a giant truck that is pretty much a crane and uh, being fun physics is knocking it out of the park. I don't want to mess up my BMW just in case if this doesn't work the way I am imagining it. And if you guys are not familiar with our big heavy duty Chevy Silverado, this is my repo truck and it's pushing. <laughs> this is a workhorse and we needed it to be you know if we if it's going to be in the fleet she pushes out 45 pounds of boost that good old allison transmission is a is a beast i i normally i run two different types of trucks i run duramax and i run power uh not power stroke oh no oh no i know my tow rig is a power stroke but if you guys are OG, you guys know we run Duramax and Cummins. Those are the two engines that I like. All right, no hard feelings, Power Stroke, but but I mean I'm in slowly leaning in towards Power Stroke uh, from time to time. You know, it's been slowly growing on me, uh, but I do really like the new 2020 uh, 2024 Ford Power Stroke. In my opinion, now that is a work truck, and that's why you guys see me running cut. That's why you guys see me running that truck for for uh, the tow rig. Without further ado, I want to show you guys the new truck here. So as you guys can might see, I'll give you a little peek. Let me get rid of this. So I'll give you guys a little small peek there. So we're going to slowly. Ooh, look at that. So it might be like, so what is the differences between this one and the one I just showed you? All right, so. What is the differences with this one? So if you come around, if you come around here, you notice something. This truck only has three axles instead of four. Um, that's because the one that I showed you guys is a 5060. So that one is designed for rotator. So that one has the ro the rotator boom on it. Um, and if I can show you guys up on these pallets still can't really show you but this one isn't a rotator this is just a heavy wrecker and if you guys are new around here or if you guys are ogs around here you guys may know me and uh me and heavy wreckers go back a long ways Look at the side here. It's, it's just so, so sweet to see <laughs> with GTA series and stuff. So, um, this one in particular is designed for basic towing. Um, but it's also, also designed for more clearance. So you can also do, uh, off-road recoveries now, which is pretty cool. So instead of it being the big heavy duty rotator, which the rotator is more so designed for, uh, like a, if you have a semi truck flipped over or turned over, then you would bring in the rotator to help bring it back over. Um, this one is really nice. Uh, I do like this one. This one's going to benefit 
by a lot. Now, let me give you a rundown on this truck here in particular because there is some differences. Okay, so you guys can see this truck have a lot. Look at that. So this truck here is running a X15, uh, which is a Cummins. This is a Cummins X15, uh, which is a 600 horsepower engine. Uh, the truck comes with the boom, which let's go and show you guys the boom. So this comes with axle lips. So you have the option to have this truck set up for either axle lifts, which hooks from underneath the truck, connect to that, uh, you hook it to the axles instead of wrapping it around a wheel. Like if you guys seen the last truck, that Coca-Cola truck, this truck would have came in handy because I had the wheel lift. And the wheel lift, guess what? When you come, with car, when you come across a truck that has no wheels, it's pretty hard to tow, ain't it? So if I would have had this truck, I would have been able to tow it better. So um, the rear boom, this is a two section boom. Uh, sections as in, you see this red, that would be the first section. And then this black part, that's the second section. Unlike the big heavy duty rotator, the 5060, you're very limited with it. This is very nice for city use and off-road recoveries and whatnot. And we also opted the truck with a heavy-duty front grille. Or, yeah, front, basically like a front bumper protector. And it comes with the uh, wheel weight, uh, truck weight. So that's actually a weight for the front of the truck. So when you're towing something... It weighs the front of the truck down. Now, this is a, a part here that I was like, eh, I'm not going to bring the BMW for this. So, what we're, we're going to do is I'm going to try to hook up to our GMC. Or, that's not a GMC there, TGR. Or Chevy. Because... I can tell you right now, this truck has a lot more power. It has a lot more pickup. It wants to boogie. Like, you hit the gas, it wants to go. I like that. It's a peppy truck. It's a very peppy truck. All right, let's open this, uh, this compartment here. And we got to bring this. Well, this got to come back in because we're not using this. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring that uh, wheel lift down. Okay. All right, now we can lift it up. All right, we don't need too much. It's just a pickup truck, and we should be good. So without further ado, let me turn this light off because I have that light on. That's not what I wanted to do. All right, we are ready to go. We are ready to roll, ladies and gentlemen. With our new $1 million custom built heavy wrecker. Look at this. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Fun physics is killing it. Absolutely killing it. I am a sucker for a Kenworth. I love Kenworths. And this T800 is no exception. Very nice truck. Side by side each other. And you can see that they don't look very different. But when you look at the back of it, you started noticing, yeah, that's, that's the differences there. So as you can see with our new blue truck, you can see, 
you can obviously see the differences and then you take a look at this one and yeah you notice a, a huge difference um mainly because it does have a big axle here in the middle of the truck for that heavy duty recovery action and then you also have the bottom outriggers and this is why i say when you have outriggers underneath the bottom of the truck it's very hard to do an off-road recovery or some sort like that this one you got very limited ground clearance and this one you have a lot of ground clearance and so uh we are now opted and i'm also getting another truck um for an off-road recovery so we're gonna be in the off-road recovery game we're gonna we're gonna have that on lock you guys are not gonna see anything like this anywhere else on youtube you want to stick around and uh also in the back like i say uh it does have that big rotator on top which get off the pole my gosh now like i say this truck right here this truck has six or no i'm sorry this truck has 700 horsepower uh the blue truck has 600 um so it's 100 horsepower uh more than the blue truck uh like i say other it really needs that extra 100 that extra 100 you're gonna need it look at how many axles is on here so anyway let's go and hop in the blue one we're gonna hook up to cola and we're gonna bring it to their yard I know you guys want to see the lights. Wait till the light. Wait, wait till the sun come down. It's gonna look even better than this. Hold on, I'm a way off. Truck's crooked. Let me bag up some more. All right, that's straight on now. Bag mo. All right, that should do. That should do. All right, let me get this uh, wheel lift down get it all the way down and get up under it so I, like i say i had to do a lot of, a lot of uh repairs just so i can get this truck prepared to be road worthy uh which we did do and I think we did a good job at it too as well. So now that we are down, we're gonna slowly bag up under it. Okay, we we're hooked. We're gonna lift. Ooh, not that. Lift this thing up. And just like that, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna dis. We're gonna take a loose to dry shaft this time. I didn't do it last time, but this time we're gonna take a loose to dry shaft. All right. Since now that we got the truck to actually behave, we're going to take a loose this dry shaft real quick. Okay. As you guys can see now, the dry shaft is completely gone. So now the dry shaft is done. Like I say, it has air, no more buzzer. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the truck, take that parking brake off. And she's ready to, she is ready to be towed now. Uh, but before we do so, I am going to have to make some distance. So we're going to have to push this back out just like that. So now that we have a distance, so you want to make sure you have enough distance in between your truck and the actual truck that you're towing. So what we're going to do is we're going to probably push this out a little bit more and lift this up. No, not like that, but we're going to push, bring, bring her up, bring her up. Not that. <laughs> Like that. Just like that. So, closing the door. Oh, wait, hold on. Alright, we're good to go now. So now that we're hooked up with this. 
Bam. Dun da da da. Look at that. Looking good. We looking legit now, boys. Yeah. Yeah. We looking good. All right. Now, we on the road. Yeah. Good turn radius. Good turn radius. We can't go out the gate, though, but it's good turn radius. We got to go back around because <laughs> we don't have really good turn radius. Well, we got good turn radius, but, you know, getting out of here is going to be a pickle. We didn't break the Jeep. We didn't break the Chevy. Some people like to be... You go break it if you tow it like that. It still runs, don't it? All right, we just got done dropping off the cola truck. We're heading back to our yard right now. Uh, it's got it's gotten late. It took a lot longer for that mainly because I had to pick the truck up here today and so I don't know if I'm gonna have time to uh, take the other ones to uh, to the auction so more than likely we we'll probably just load them up and we'll take them there to tomorrow but we're not gonna be able to get the van loaded but I think we might can load the Suburban I do believe We have the Porsche, though, none of the less. My, I think we have enough room for the Suburban. The Suburban Bourbon, I think it will load on it. Because it's really compacted itself. Pretty good. Okay. Well, ain't nothing to do but to do it. Let's see if we can load this Bourbon Bourbon. Suburban. It's the end of the bourbon. Perfect. Look at that. Right up on the ridge. Heck yeah. Alright. We now have the Suburban loaded. Right up on the end. Look at that. I got to try to hide, uh, tie all them doors because uh, that's going to be a problem. So we got to get these doors tied to the truck. Come on, bend it back, bend it back, bend it back. That one's bent. All these loose parts. This door is all the way back. I don't know if it will hook anywhere. Probably not. Honestly. Probably gonna leave that one open because we don't have nowhere else. Don't pull me. Dang. Pull me in like Spider Man. What the heck going on over here? Shoot. Okay, let's try that again. Take that. Hook it there. Gotta just hook it somewhere. It can't be loose like that. Okay. Back end. There's nothing I can do with the back end too much. And then we have the Porsche. The Porsche. I ain't going nowhere.